I'm going to bake bread today. So I'm going to show you what all we put in it. So today we are making bread and this is not a bread that is um, a simple fluffy muff, mushy white bread. This is going to be um, very hearty, um, very flavorful bread. So first I have the mixture of flours in here, then I am going to lay the uh, nuts on the sides so with the nuts and the seeds there is many many this is not the first plate of nuts and seeds then come the look the real nuts and the raisins then comes the chamomile the order doesn't matter at all. Oh, I forgot the salt. Oops. So I keep all the ingredients to the side so that in the middle I have just flour to make my starter uh, for the yeast. I am making yeast bread. I know not everybody uh, is in favor of that, but that's. Um, that's just because my sourdough starter, starter never goes very well. Ta-da! So if anybody can help me with a sourdough starter, I will certainly try that. And then the spices. So I love lots of flavor in the bread. And if you do have pumpkin spice, that's a very nice thing to add. So then in the middle, we make a little dip, like that, look, little dip, that's where we're going to put the yeast, dry yeast in this case, with a little bit of warm water, not warm, like hand warm, finger warm is what we call it, and a spoon of honey just to have the, the yeast something to start with so we make a tiny little pre-starter just like that and let it rest for five minutes so now that the, the dough has worked a little bit for five minutes and i let mine stand too long sorry but it will still be good we are going to add water and this um, this dough for starters needs to be a little more moist than any other dough you have ever seen because all these um, heavy ingredients are going to absorb more water as we go as we let it stand and rise so this is quite um, I would say a little bit a difficult task because it's just heavy you need to have strong hands or you need to borrow your son to help you with it or dear husband so the water is body temperature again 
because otherwise the yeast becomes um, unhappy. <laughs> So we'll work this a little bit. Yeast dough is very happy when you work it a lot. You give it lots of movement and working. So the consistency will be not like your regular bread that it will hold down or to hold it form and be rather dry this will almost just like that yeah it will almost hold its form I would say it's doing pretty good I will work it a little more so you do that for about five or ten minutes and I'll see you in a bit. Yep, this is what it will um, become before rising. So we worked it about 10 minutes. It is um, soft, kind of. And I scraped off my hands with a spoon because it's um, that's just how it is. No worries. It's just how it goes. And um, so we will cover it and let it stand in a warm place for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we make the, I make the forms to bake the breads of loaf in it. And I don't have a store-bought form. So what I do is I it's going to make uh, two loaves. So I'm going to make two forms here uh, with baking paper or parchment paper or whatever you want to call it so one two shape it nicely in the corners nicely or not so nicely you know whatever your your standard of perfectionism is You can choose, but it will basically make two pockets. Okay, I fold this over a little bit. Now I will have two separate pockets to make the bread in, and we go back to working the dough. So the dough has been rising for 30 minutes and it's not poofed outside the, the dish yet but uh, remember this is a heavy grain bread that is uh, going to be dense so what we will need to do is work it again get your hands in there from the bottom to the top and flip it and turn it and fold it in and fold it in and fold it in and fold it in and I just noticed that my spoon is far away to get the dough off my hands now you would think we could add some flour to make this um, lift out of the ball and off my hands but um, it's gonna be too dry at the end so no flour will be added it almost lifts out of the ball you see but it's a bit gooey on my hands maybe I should have wet hands I don't know I'm not a 
um, professional baker but I have been making this type of bread for 15-20 years minimum so I am absolutely pleased with it and it's hard to go back to anything else once you know how it feels in your tummy and how good it is for you, you just don't want to go back to anything. Well, I guess that's um, personal preference. So I will work this a little longer, uh, the dough, and um, then see you later. Made it into two loaves and they are now ready to rest one more time for about 30 minutes before they're gonna go in the oven. They need to be covered to stay nice and warm. And then they are going to go in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes, 185, 190 degrees Celsius or 380, 400 Fahrenheit. Depends a little bit on your oven, of course ready look how beautiful it is so now um, let it stand for about five to ten minutes and then it will come out of the forms and then let it cool down a little longer and um, cut it into slices um, kind of after 30 minutes and what you are not going to use you will put in the freezer um, otherwise it would go would go to waste it will dry out way too fast and it's absolutely not what you want so um, here you go so it came out of its uh, baking paper and it's now ready to rest a little longer the bottom crust is nice and um, the bottom crust is nice and soft, but the top crust is very, very uh, crispy. And in order to give that a little more moist, I will cover it um, while it's cooling down a little further. So that hopefully um, the top crust gets a little more soft and not too crispy. And um, if you could only smell the house, I mean, it's... Uh, it's an absolute delight. So then we cut it into thicker slices. Some we will eat and some we will freeze. And this one, the little one, look the the end piece. I will eat it with vegan cream cheese. And I will show you how that goes. Put the cream cheese on there. It's going to be so yummy. I will let you know. Watch out. You can also do it without singing, but here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's really, really good. 